teen suicides in our area, and it's not clear why. When coroners from across Ohio got together for their annual meeting this year, it was a major topic of discussion. Yeah, social media is a contributing factor. So is mental illness. Local 12's Deborah Dixon looks at Hamilton County suicides and a suicide prevention effort that is saving teen lives. National data shows a scary trend about teen suicide, but not the cause behind it. In Hamilton County so far this year, there are five suicides ages 18 and under. That's compared with six all of last year and four the year before, the youngest, 12 years old. As a mother of two teens now, I mean, it's concerning. And every time we see one of these, it's hard not to put yourself in those parents' shoes. How can parents tell the difference between teen angst and depression, the unbearable kind that leads to suicide? You don't know when to take it seriously and intervene and when to not give the attention that they're seeking. You ask them questions, you get them to share those feelings. What's the in this Cincinnati Children's four day surviving the teens class, students here at Loveland High School are taught how to identify depression in themselves and in their friends. It might mean asking the tough question, are you thinking about committing suicide? I don't know what to do if they were thinking about it. Tell me what you'd do. I would go to an adult, whether it be a counselor or the school psychologist, or even just call their parents and tell them that uh, I'm worried about your son or daughter and that they're thinking about committing suicide. The signs of depression can be subtle, moody, anxious, angry, isolated. And when it comes to bullying, the lesson is clear. Say something. What messages are you giving to victims when you do nothing? We tell those kids. Yeah. You deserve this. Statistics show in a classroom this size, there are usually three teenagers who are depressed, but no one knows it. Trauma, violence, grief can all lead to depression. Kathy Strunk shares a video about her son's death from a motorcycle accident in 2004. He was not invulnerable like t kids think they are. And I'm more determined now to save teens' lives because of my own tragedy. Sometimes that happens the first day of class. Well, a lot of times, even the first day of the program, teens will self-identify that they're having problems. Teens have come up to me and told me, because of you, I'm going to get help now. Four days of knowledge that is power. Would you be comfortable saying to someone, are you thinking about suicide? Yes, I would be perfectly comfortable just because, I mean, they're just human just like we are. I mean, everyone's not perfect, so you need to help that person because you want someone to help you. While experts try to find the cause of increased teen suicide, this class could be one of the solutions. Deborah Dixon, Local 12 News. And you can find out more about Cincinnati Children's Surviving Teen Program on Local12.com. Just click the Get It Now link.